Hi everyone, uh, welcome back again. This video is about the next part, the second part of the solar system. Uh, obviously last week we did some uh, bit of work out there for the frame, all tilting down. So they got a little bit more wood but not got a lot left. I'm still waiting to go and pick some wood up and uh, finish some bits off. Which I'm going to do a bit more today. Got some brackets and stuff as well delivered. So some of them are here, some more are coming this week as well. So bits and bobs, all the different days and stuff like this in this episode. and getting a chance when I can really, get a, some woodwork and bits and bobs and some solar panels up. That's it. Uh, right, I'll turn you around and show you exactly what I'm doing. The second bit we're doing, we're getting up there today. Then we're moving these across here. Obviously we were saying uh, the last episode, we're moving four inches that way. A bit closer to there on this side. Uh, we'll get 10 panels on the road that way and another 10 at the top. So make 20 solar panels at the top at 240 makes 4.8 kilowatt and get up there all right i get these ladders and, uh, let's have a quick nosy so they can get 10 panels like i was saying move that over there four inches i'm going for six inches here which needs six inches all together to move it across took my tools over ready so they're ready over here now So you've got to watch around treading again. It's a fall in. Pull through. So we've got plenty on this frame here. So we've got four inches. And across there. So we're going to do, undo it all again now. Obviously, you don't have to undo this bottom bit. It's all set. So we've got to do this flashing again. So flashing is just some cheap crap flashing when you stick on. It has come off. We've got some new stuff in the shed. We'll change that later on a later date. So across there. So we'll move that over. Four inches that way. So we can get the. 10 panels on. Can't be bad. As you can see now, I've done quite a bit more today. Just even got some more tinder. Put all that on. Just have to put the lights on outside as well now. So we can see a bit more. Got some of that sections on there. I'll take you back up and have a proper look at it and explain what I've done. And there we are, back on the roof. See what crap doing with it today. We're going to finish it now, it's got one more section. We've got to finish off across here for the 10th panel. So they've made a two 3 by 2s put them together. You can't really see now because it's pitch black. There's two 3 by 2s together, one in the middle. It's like a nice straight edge all the way down along, uh, all the way along, shall I say. Let's see what we've done. So you can see down there, these are all bang on level. So put this every time I come across. Well, I've measured 57 inches down. You put a, a screw, as you can see there, so 57 inches down, all the way along. Well, not in this one now, I'm say all the way along onto there. So maybe a measurement, in this case this is out, measure across down that, and down there. And got it nice and straight, as you can see. All for the panel so it can sit nice and straight, nice and flat. Other than that, that'll be it for tonight here. It's a bit dark now. So I'll get this section here finished tomorrow. I'll get off here without falling through. So I'll get this section finished. Get a bit of paint on all this lot. And the weekend after, hopefully, I should get a bit of... Uh, well, I should get, hopefully, all the solar panels off, actually. So we'll see how we go. Uh, apparently, the weatherman never given any rain out today. So it's absolutely peeing down a minute ago. Got soaking up there. So I did want to get a coat of paint on that. But it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to finish the woodwork off today and uh, wait for a dry day. I don't think we've got none of them this week. So I'm going to put the noggins up there. Just got a few more noggins to go up across and finish them off today and that'll have to do I think. The rain's cooled me off so no painting today. A few days after now so it's a bit of a dry afternoon-ish as you can see. So I've got a spare hour or so now. So it is half past three. Well, an hour, probably an hour at the max, like, and going dark before this dampness comes. Just going to give it a quick paint. It's a silver corpse. Just a bit of quick painting today, all around there. And then, next couple of days, get some solar panels on. Let's end of that again today. So this webman don't know what he's talking about. It's supposed to be dry this afternoon. Started peeing down again. We've got halfway across. It's been 20 minutes or so. 
that's it, game over again. Let it dry out in a couple of days again. And get back to it again. That's another evening done. So sort of a good coat of paint now as well. It's a good coat of paint all around. We're ready for them solar panels. So it just started uh, raining on me earlier on. It's uh, stopped last half hour. Just finished these little sections off around here. With a coat of paint. So I don't think I missed any bits. Okay, so we'll find out in uh, one evening, when we get an evening in the week. I don't know when that'll be. Hopefully it's dry enough to start getting some solar panels up down here first and work my way back. And hopefully, a week after, we should be getting it all connected and see how we run. We'll see. As you've seen, last uh, few days and last week or so, I've been up and down on top of the reef, uh, getting all these woodwork and stuff done, uh, painted up in the rain and stuff, but today, gorgeous day today. Uh, just got the solar panels out, just going to test them, make sure the voltage and the uh, amps and that are coming from them okay before I put them up. It's not, it's a nice sunny day, but the sun's not just there, right? Where I'm testing here, like, so once I get one on the roof, I'll test them proper and uh, go from there, really. That's what I'll do. I'll turn you around and show you. Uh, I'm going to fit them on on the roof. That's a bit of woodwork I've done in the daylight. You can see a lot better now. It's all the coat of paint and stuff. Uh, like we're starting in that corner here first, coming down, keep working way back all the way across with them and connecting them up. Like I said, I'll take these apart. Uh, take these apart. I'll take these up there, should I say, uh, and get them all ready, get the brackets and stuff on. So I might even start from that side of the reel, actually, so it doesn't matter if I can move that over, if it does, doesn't work out right, which it should do, really, because I've measured it all. Measured it all. So I'll start from there, work way right along, and then come back down, I think, do that way. So if I do need to move that end one, I can always go that way with it, you see. I've got uh, about an inch or so space on that, and that is right tight up against the shed on this side here so let's get up there work out the brackets and uh, do some tests and stuff and there we go so next day again so it's uh went dark on me last night got cracked in with it pitch black had to move some of these uh cross members across here as well just decided to do a different way now so i was going to do the hooks the other way but i decided to do it this way so there's eight panels on there now nice and snug tight fit right against the felt on this side well, it's not touching the felt, probably 10 mil away from it. Let's get across here. And what I've done at the bottom as well, you see, put these brackets. And what I do is drill in these sections. Get a 3.2 mil bit, eighth bit, drill in there, screws in there. You can see, go over it. I've snapped a load of uh, bits. I've got cheap ones off Amazon, which waste of time, but it's a uh, nice screw fix. I've got some better ones. Absolutely crap. So, what I've done here now is as you can see the brackets on here in this section uh solar panels sit on it onto that sit on there and sit on there nice to it drill through onto there it's gonna be very nice snug fits it's touching that side as well on that bit and put these kitchen brackets on here it's in the solar panels uh they got a plate about that big underneath and this is the angle angle lined and it hooks over straight onto that hooks down Pulls down, in position. Goes down, sits in the bottom of them brackets. Screw them in. Job done. That's what I'll do. Get the rest of these on. All around here. Which don't fall down. I'm going to have a with that now. Just got to put the rest of these on here. There's another two to go on this side. Fix all these bottom bits. Then, we'll start getting this top section all connected up. And then, hopefully, next week or so, we'll get the inverters in and get a line connected up. Can't be bad. So then what I'm doing as well, I'm checking all the panels before I put them up. So I've got 10 panels here now, there's 10 up there already. Just gonna check these panels over now. Just gonna get the multimeter somewhere about in the pocket. Just got the multimeter here. Uh, to test the ampage. You put it on this side where the amps are. And you put the red wire into that one. Let's test the voltage. Put on the volt size, this is DC. So, again, obviously, you put the positive and negative. I'll show you now. I'll put them in and uh, show you how to test it. And that's going to check the volts first. So, it is DC, this side of voltage. Always make sure it's higher than what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's 37, 37 volts. I think it is this uh, solar panel. I'll show you in a second. So, you put the negative and negative. Sorry, that's a negative. 
the negative side in there and the positive side in there. And I'll show you. I'm pulling 32 volts as it goes to 37. So it's a cloudy day today. Let's turn the ampage. So you put in the 10 amps. On that side, as long as it's above again, I think it's uh, six or something there. I'll show you again in a minute. Same again, ampage on that side. The red one on that side, not that one. Same again, put in there. And we're pulling 6.2 amps out of that. It's a hell of a lot. So it's, uh, the sun's just starting to peak out now, that's why it's going to be high, you see. It's pulling four amps a minute ago. So we're just peeking through the clouds. As you can see the clouds now. And the sun in there. It's a cloudy day. The sun is peeking through. And I'm getting six amps out of that. So can't be bad really. Can't be bad at all. Let's check the voltage again now where the sun's out actually. Ah, 32 volts. I'm saying it will. They got 33. The sun's hitting it again. So yesterday it was a nice day and I was getting 35 to 37 yesterday with the sun out. But so today is a lot more cloudier. I think he's jumping. Now 33. So it is going up. So the more sun you get, the more volts you get, the more amps you get. And there we go. As you can see on the back now, uh, 7.9 amps it goes to. 8.6 and give up maximum. Uh, the voltage is 30.4. The maximum is 37. So anything above 30, the voltage I'm getting, even in the no sun. So it's doing the job really. So these are 240 watts. Uh, minimum 30 volts it gives you. Uh, the maximum ampage is 7.9, 8.6 and that you get out of that. So not doing bad today, 6 points on it. So first of all, I'm going to go along and connect to all these up as well. As you can see on there, let's so move the positive this side. That's that one. Connect all these up. Go all the way along. And negative, which I'm trying to get. Sorry about this. I'm trying to show you. I'm filming, it's a bit awkward. As you can see, push them together, push them right in. That's it, clicking. Jobs are good. One. Go all the way along and connect them up. As you can see now, all the bottle panels, they're all nicely fitted, all the way along. So what I'm doing in a minute is going to show you, obviously put the brackets at the top of you, on this section. And what I'm doing is put an L bracket underneath these bottom panels, well top panels but at the bottom, on these ones here. And put some L bracket and tighten it all up. So I'll get over there and show you how I'm going to do it. As you can see, I'm underneath here now. So cut to the these up, all connected. All the way along. So at the bottom here, we put the brackets, as you can see there. Put a bracket at the bottom. Touching that bit. Touching that bit there. So it can't come up, and it can't move along. Solid, all the way along. All the way, well happy with that. Nice and solid. So eventually, I will put some uh, mesh around here as well, stop the pigeons and everything else nest underneath here. But other than that, get it nice and solid. Got three more panels put up. And the job's a good one. Yeah, it's got the uh, three panels to go and then brackets. Pull them down, get underneath there, wire them all up. The job's a good one. <laughs> Ten solar panels, all finished, all done that, so we can carry on now. And do things at night times and stuff, so what I've got to do now, outside here, is just connect these two ends up. So there's two series on this one, obviously I've done one series at the top, the second series on the bottom. So I've got a wire come from over there, all the way back, so we're going to do that one. 
down there, away from this one, away from that one. But other than that, we can do everything else inside now. So don't mind if it's dark or not, raining. We can crack them with it all inside, except for them connections there, we can make them up. Thread them through, job done. So I'm really happy with them now. Let's say I can do most of it inside. Now if it's raining, dark, so you mind no more. Uh, so that's it really. So I do appreciate you watching. Uh, wouldn't mind thumbs up and uh, subscribe to us. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.